This is where you were. I've been looking for you. You have? I wanted to thank you for what you did. Not that, not that you mentioned it, but... Not that you meant to, but you ended up making this little game of ours very interesting indeed. Um... You should go to Hero's room. Oh, and let me give you this. Me in the dining hall. This is the note Hero wrote to get us all to meet up, right? Hmm. You remember well. Well, the penmanship was pretty remarkable, so left an impression. It's all clear now. Anyway, this makes it clear, right? This is a trap. What is? <laughs> <laughs> Things grow even more, ever more exciting. Um, what are you talking about? I've already repaid my debt. I didn't. I don't owe you any more explanation. Goodbye. Yeah, the penmanship's too good for Hero, probably, but not too good for Celeste. So you said go to Hero's room, but what's waiting for me there? So, you said we missed something in here, so I'll check, but like, that was what we needed to do, apparently. The mini fridge. Not a vampire. But the blood packets are good to know about because that would be how he got covered in blood. Yeah, you did the refrigerator? Yeah, that's what we were there for. So I think you can go to the dorm now? Maybe? I already could. I talked to Bianca. Bianca is the one who gave me permission to go to Hero's room. The door is unlocked. I guess I can go inside. Bianca did say to go to go look. It might not be a great idea, but I'm gonna take the plunge. Man, everyone got cool rooms except me. There are all kinds of weird stuff in here. Where'd you even get it all from? More importantly, he still hasn't turned up. Which means he can't really complain if I don't get his permission to search the room, right? It's just the door, okay. This is one of the monitors Monokuma appears on. There's a point of worrying about it right now. I'll just forget about it. Um, yeah, sure, boxes. I think there's something in the cardboard box. It's blueprints for something and something made out of... It looks like cardboard plastic and plaster? Is this Robo Justice? In some hero's room. But wait, these blueprints. Something about them bothers me. Hmm. Interesting. Surveillance camera. Yeah. Okay. It's a normal bed. So, uh, uh, like now I know where room. we have to go next. Cool. Soundlessly check the bathroom. There's nothing in here. It's pretty crunchy though. How does the bathroom even get this dirty? from being super oily from having that kind of hair. Yeah, I don't think I need you, Cassie. But I do need you to speak. Yeah. Read. Makoto, big news! Big news! What's wrong? We found Kyoko! What? Is she okay? Where is she? Wait, I wasn't done! There's more big news! Just a second! Robo Justice showed up too! Robo Justice. It's Hero wearing the costume. Okay. Anyway, as soon as you can, head to the pool on the second floor. As if you didn't remember the pool was on the second floor. Yeah. I think Hero and Kyoko would turn up at the same time. Anyway, I have to head to the pool. I ran off to the second floor as fast as I could. Hey, it's that poison I wanted to check earlier. Kyoko and I mean Yep. Yep. Hero? Um, Hero? Oh, hey Makoto. I guess I have to read this because he's a suspect now. <laughs> yeah, duh, who else would I be? Yeah, that's yeah. a good question. Huh? What? Why do I look like this? Huh? Did somebody come along and remodel me while I was sleeping? Or is it the Illuminati? Hmm. 
Robo Justice finally made his appearance, huh? I guess Kyoko's the one that found him. Right. Shit, I haven't talked to Kyoko in a while. Sorry. I found oh, Tito. <laughs> but no, you were doing you were doing British, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's what I just did. He was jammed into the pool locker room. It looked like he was fast asleep, so I kicked him and woke him up. Don't be mean! I still can't believe you kicked me. You could have been a little more gentle about it, like, I don't know, caress my face or something. What, what the fuck? <laughs> That's creepy. Anyway, Kyoko, where have you been all this time? You just disappeared all of a sudden without a trace. Yeah. There was something I had to check up on. What do you mean? Never mind. I can't never mind. Never mind. Hey. More importantly... She says that, but does she have any idea? Does she know people... Does she know people think she might be spying for the mastermind? And? First of all, Hero, you need to explain to us why you're dressed like that. I mean... Oh, uh, well, I mean, I have no idea. One second I was asleep, don't even know what happened. Then I woke up, and then I was here. Hmm. I don't care. Do something about the costume. It pains me just to look at you. Well, um, I don't know what's up with this thing, but I can't actually get it off. A little help? Why would you make something you can't take off by yourself? You got it all wrong. I didn't make this stupid friggin' thing. There's a clasp on the back that's keeping you from getting it off. It looks pretty sturdy. I don't think you can get it off on your own. We don't really have a choice, so let's help them. To okay, everyone's help, but slowly we were able to get Hero out of the suit. It took a few minutes, but eventually we got all the pieces off. <laughs> well, free at last. Hmm. Isn't it kind of weird how perfectly the suit fits Hero? So then. More to the point, nobody but Hero will be able to wear that costume. Uh, um. Wait, what? Hold on. Honestly. Don't bother trying to act innocent. The blueprints were in your room as well. How would you know that? How would you know that, Celeste? Is that okay? In other words, it's obvious to everyone that you made this costume. That's true. I saw the blueprints myself. Yeah, me too. Could it be? Then it's obvious. The one who put this costume on and went around attacking everyone? That's terrible! Was Hero! <sighs> Shall we tie him up and gag him? Just the worst. Good idea. We wouldn't want him killing anyone else. Time me up! Hold on, guys. I think that's going a little far. That's right. He may be a suspect, but he deserves fair treatment. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, um... attacking blueprints. I've no idea what you guys are talking about. What the heck? You can't talk your way out of this. It's been decided. You killed them. Please. What killed who? I've no idea what you're talking about. This must have been a fake hero running around. You're the only one who can wear this costume! So who else could have possibly been the costumed attacker? What the heck? How do you know I'm the only one? Maybe you should try it on for yourself before you convict me. Okay. Fine! If you want to be a jerk about it, I will! Without missing a bait, A bit? A beat. Hina started putting on the robot in Chester's costume. Ha! Huh. See? Look! See how loose it is? I mean, come on. I'm blind as a bat in here. Can't see my feet at all. I'm surprised you got anywhere in this thing. I'm telling you, it wasn't me. And not to mention, you totally can't bend at the waist. Seems like a pretty obvious oversight. That's not a very nice thing to say. Hmm? Uh, I, I mean, it's not like I made it. I just got caught up in the moment. Well, either way, now we know for sure, right? I mean... It seems pretty clear that nobody but Hero could have fit into this dumb costume. In a huff, Hina took the suit back off again. <sighs> well, now you're all out of excuses. Uh, um... 
Hey, see, it's because you're a girl. If it was another guy, then... <laughs> Makoto, go ahead. Okay. Against my will, I picked up the pieces off the floor and tried putting them on. It's no good. The arms are too long. There's no way I can wear this. See? I told you it was impossible. <laughs> You're absolutely right. It seems this costume was made to fit Hero's body exactly. But... Then there's another costume. The must well that looks the same, but, but fits them. Honestly. If you insist on this line of defense, then show us some evidence. What the heck? Evidence? <laughs> You claim there's another suit that, yeah, then you must find it and show it to us. What the heck? This is the worst. Who cares? Hero's the only one without an alibi during this whole thing anyway. That's terrible. Which is how we know it was him. What? I mean, if that's true, true, I have no idea what's been happening. Could someone, like, tell me? Yeah, so I'm still suspecting that I'm right. It's looking more and more like it was really set up. Oh. Yes. Oh shit! Sorry. I certainly did not expect Hiro and Kyoka to turn up at the same time. Hmm. But where's Kyoka been hiding all this time? I have no idea. And Perhaps she's really working for the mastermind. What else would explain her questionable behavior? What? You are quite protective of her, yes? That's because she's helped me out so much up until now. <laughs> if I were the mastermind, that's exactly what I would do to earn your trust. She looks like she's lost in thought. I don't think she's in the mood to talk. I'd better leave her alone. There's no talking your way out of this. You did it. Everyone knows it. What the heck? Um, if you don't tell me what's going on, how am I supposed to understand? I think I figured out that someone's been killed, right? And Makoto, who was it? Well, two people were killed. Taka and Mifumi. What? what? Two people? Why are you freaking out? You did it. Please. I did not. Wait, hold on. If there's two... Uh, if those two are the ones that were killed... That's it! I know who did it! So then. May as well tell us, then. Hmm. Taka and Fumi were fighting over Alter Ego, right? Which means Alter Ego and Alter Hero must have done it! Correct. I see. That's unfortunate. Please! Huh? Unfortunate. What the heck? Stop trying to trick us! Just admit that you did it, okay? Uh, um... I'm telling you, you got it all wrong. Oh, so then... Uh, I know that note! No? Uh, um... Last night, someone slipped a weird note under my door. And here's what it said. I found a hole maybe we can, tr we can use to escape. Monokuma can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the rec room at 1am. <sighs> now the last thing I remember is going to the rec room. Then for some reason I fell asleep. Hey. The real killer probably drugged me or something. I mean, to be fair, uh... What's it called? Uh... The stuff you use to knock people out? Chloroform? Yeah, chloroform is made from bleach and another fairly common thing. Just the worst. Forgetting what they are, so it wouldn't be hard to make. Not a chance. So. No, hold on. He could be onto something. The nurse's office did have chemicals that could do that. Huh? What? Really? I told you, someone's been trying to set me up. Secret passage, a chance to escape. Someone wrote all that to trick me. Even if that's true, you must be one dumb fish to bite every piece of bait that floats in front of you. Well, after we trapped you so long, even if you know it's a lie, you still gotta check, right? Yeah, they preyed on my desire to get out of here. They deceived me. I still don't buy it. It's not that he's an idiot. It's that he's an absolute fool. Don't be mean. We well, should buy Just it. A second. Okay, then show us that note. Hmm. Well, it's a pleasure. I have it right here in my um 
po pocket. No way. Looks like I lost it. Uh, yeah, sure. Please, you gotta believe me. I want her to fly. <laughs> As I said before, if you want us to believe you, you must provide evidence. Can you show us the note? I have no particular issue with that. What you claim, but if you want us to believe you, give us a reason. What the heck? For serious? Yes, yeah, so here is the count. Now then, shall we resume our investigation? There's no time to waste before the class trial begins. Why do we keep? Why do we need to keep investigating? We already know who did it. Why? Why did you kill them? Tell us, hero! Uh, no, it's like I said! Was it really to get the money Monokuma offered us? Yeah, that must be it! You must be totally broke and that's why! Wait, that's a false accusation! Someone help me! Just be thankful we even bound and gagged you. That's lewd. Hmm. If you have time to yell and carry on, you have time to search for evidence, right? What? What? Oh, you're right. I need to look for the second suit in that note. Feet don't fail me now. I guess I'd better get back to guard duty. I was gonna ask Toko or Jack to switch with me. Hmm. But if she and Sokka get into a fight, we'd have a catastrophe on our hands. Bye. One by one, everyone peeled away. Makaido, do you have a second? Huh? I want you to help me with the investigation. It would seem... It looks like I got a late start on this one, so I need to make up some ground. Sure, I don't mind helping, but can you promise me something? Later when we have time, will you tell me why you disappeared? Why no. To reject me so simply. Anyway. anyway, I need your help. You don't mind, do you? Okay. Shall we go? Thanks. Now then, shall we? Hey. So, Makoto, first I'd like to examine the corpses. Examine the corpses? I can't believe I'm hearing that from the, from a girl of the same age Correct. as me. Dead bodies don't lie, you know. They tell the truth far more easily than the living. Hey. Wouldn't you agree? How am I supposed to answer? Anyway, anyway we have to hurry before the class trial begins again. Yeah, you're right. Okay then, show me where the bodies are. They're in the repository. Then I guess we should head that way for now. Um, I guess I'll just go here. Taka taka taka. Okay. Dead bodies, ladies and gentlemen. Hifumi and Taka. For a moment, Kyoko seemed to be written to go rigid, but only for a moment. So then. Well then, let's get started. She crouched down next to Taka and without hesitation began poking and prodding the bodies. I knew it. The Monokuma file was right. They were killed using similar weapons. Her movements were so smooth, she was so calm. Seeing how comfortable she was actually made me feel a little more comfortable. So, check out the more recent. The biggest problem I have right now is how the killer was able to move through these massive corpse. Okay. I guess I just have to talk to her rather than examine the bodies. I see. 
Makoto, I found something. Hey. You did? You, you remember the wristwatch Taka always wore on his left hand? He did? Are you so oblivious to the people around you? Do you dislike other people that much? No, that's not it. Anyway, so you said he had a watch? So then. Take a look. It's breaking. You can see the hands aren't moving, right? It most likely broke when he had his encounter with his assailant. That would be 5 a.m. Right? 6 a.m.? Is... Yeah. Wait. I'm gonna be honest, I, I, I can't read this watch very well. I think the, the one... So the top one is 12, the one on the right is 3, the one on the bottom is 6, and the one on the left is 9, because it goes in 3. So that's yeah, okay. 6 so a.m. assuming that there's no twist to that, yeah. So that would be at 6.02, 6.03. Yeah. So... If you notice, their hands are frozen at just past 6 o'clock. Okay. Watch is broken sometime just after right. 6. But last night, Taka's watch definitely wasn't broken. In other words... So if it worked at 10 last night, it couldn't have been broken at 6 p.m. I mean, it must have happened at 6 this morning. Broken wristwatch has been added to the truth bullet However, section. Which means he died way before anything we did. Yep. That's not all. Look at Taka's left hand. He appears to be gripping something. You're right, there's something white in there. Can you, Can you try and pry it out? Me? Because... Rigor mortis has already set in. Boys are better suited to this kind of manual labor, right? Okay. As much as I didn't want to, I grasped Taka's cold hand. Lude. The ice cold hand was nearly enough to cause my heart to stop beating. After some effort, I was finally able to free the object. A piece hey. of paper? Was this all that he had in his hand? Yeah, that's it. Just a little scrap of paper. It doesn't seem like much of a clue, does it? Right? I wonder about that. Kyoko then turning so to the Muse body. Shoot. Let's check a few Muse body now. Perhaps he left us a few more clues on of his own. So that means he was probably called out with a scrap of paper as well. So that is multiple times we've had that scrap of paper used. <laughs> I guess I'll just talk to her again, rather than searching the body. So, did you find anything? I did. More than I expected, to be honest. Look at this. A wad of paper? Right. Hifumi had it hidden on him. Hidden? Indeed. He'd stuffed it in his pants, so I can only assume he'd hidden it on purpose, you see? In his pants? Wait, are you- Why So you- that? It was just his pants, not like his socks or something. I don't know what that means. Hey. Anyway, let's take a look at the paper. Go ahead, Makoto, open it up. When I think of how it was stuffed down his pants, it's like, better be important, Fumi, or I'll never forgive you for this. A note? That looks familiar. So that's the other piece of paper. I found a hole maybe we can use to escape Monokuma. Can't find out, so don't tell anyone else for now. Let's meet in the equipment room at 6 a.m. So. That sounds very familiar. That's it. It's the same thing Hiro said. Then he was telling the truth. However. Although it's not exactly the same, is it? Uh, um. <clears throat> the time is different. Hiro told us that his note said to meet at 1 a.m., but the note that wrote they wrote to Hifumi asked us to meet at 6 a.m. Is that right? Hold on. Just because Hifumi had the note doesn't mean it was meant for him. Huh? So... Part of it has been torn off, right? I think there's likely some meaning there. There's some meaning to the part of being ripped? Could you maybe explain a little more? Think carefully. Hey. Why would he have been clutching that scrap of paper so tightly? I have so no idea. 
What if it wasn't just a scrap of paper when he was holding it? What if it was something more important? And how would something important like that become a mere scrap of paper? That's what you need to answer. Hey. And while we're at it, I should tell you one other thing. The two victims this time definitely had their e-handbooks on them. So the handbooks have nothing to do with how the murders were carried out. Not that there's any reason to think they were connected to the killings in the first place. So you're saying I don't have to think about the handbooks this time, right? Is that right? If you didn't have to think about them at all, I wouldn't have gone out of my way to mention it. All I said that they all I said was that they weren't used to help carry out the murders. There may come a point, however, where a handbook may play a role. Handbook may play a role. I don't think I understand, but if Kyoko thinks it's important, I'd better keep it in mind. E-handbook has been added to the truth both section of your handbook. Bing bong. Already? Are you excited? Yeah. Are you pumped? It's time for the class trial to begin! I don't feel like we got as much info as normally we search around for. We got oh, enough. Well. We got enough, I think yeah. it's because a lot of our investigation time was spent, you know, finding Hifumi, and then finding Taka, and then finding both of them. And then finding Kyoko. Yeah. Hearing their accounts, then coming back here to do the final investigation. It makes sense, I just... Yeah, no. It's just we didn't spend the time doing things. Normally we spend all that time, but now, like, you know, we just walk between places like a lot. Like the bright burst of fireworks, like the flash of a soul clashing with life and death. And so, with no further ado, everyone please meet at the usual spot. Make your way to the red door on the first floor of the school. <laughs> See you soon. It would seem... It's unfortunate, but I suppose this is where our investigation comes to an end. You'll have to figure out the rest for yourself and come to the proper conclusion. Yeah, you're right. Shall we go? Well, we'd better get going. To be fair, she said that. She just said it differently. So guys, next time we'll on Let's Play Danganronpa. This is actually two episodes. I completely forgot about ending it last time, so... You know? This investigation took two episodes, and now one for the class trial itself. Let's go f call out the murderer and, you know, get them punished. Goodbye.